Harusha la koska baranda e hasuba hashida hala. Prakatoja la de katuse mehese katabaratuziata. Bring her. Jesus. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom. 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 Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom, Jehovah, shalom, shalom. You're welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Please listen, we're about to pray. Bring the lady that will shout loud under the anointing now to the hearing of everyone. Bring her. You're welcome in this place. Did the Bible not say you are come unto Mount Zion? It's not just a testament. It's a reality that you have come before the innumerable angels, the spirits of just men made perfect unto Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. My dear, I shift you to new dimensions in the spirit. I decree and declare that the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you and turns you into another person by the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome in this place. Please hear me. I want to pray for you now but listen to me there are three ways by which a generation encounters the anointing for their destiny number one and I want you to listen very quickly you can get an impartation directly from God through your hunger and through your encounter But the biblical pathway is through the mystery that the Bible calls impartation. Please listen. Impartation is not anointing with oil. Impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities. The possibilities that you command are predicated on the grace, the dimension, the mantle that is upon your life. Now please watch this. Out of her now. Release that lady now. In the name of Jesus, out now. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, please hear me. Except God is not God. Any challenge that walk here with you this night, you will drop it down here, this place. Impartation. Is a transference of possibilities. Now please watch this. Our walk with God is based on relationship. But kingdom advance is based on covenant. Let me explain to you what that means. God cannot give everybody. Just anoint everybody at the same time. No. When he wants to release a dimension of his possibilities on earth. The way he does it is to find a man. When he finds a man, he enters a covenant with that man that becomes a platform for allowing a territory experience that spiritual possibility. And then that man becomes his, his, the gatekeeper of that grace within the lifespan of that dispensation. No man will access that dimension of grace ignoring that man and ignoring his sacrifice. Let me show you how it works. Listen. Today, when we talk about faith and the word of faith, start from anywhere in the world, it will stop at Kenneth Copeland. He is the spiritual system alive today after Hagen. 
that is the gatekeeper of that spiritual possibility. If Copeland dies, God will find another man and enter a covenant with him that represents the continuity of that dimension of possibility. Hear me please. No matter how you love God, there are anointings that will not come to you directly. They will come to you in alignment to men and women that by God's predeterminate counsel and through the sacrifice of alignment have entered a covenant that allows that dimension of grace to be visible within a territory. Hear me? It is not human worship. When he sends a word to Jacob, it is because of Israel. He does not send the word to Israel. He will send it to Jacob through covenant. And Jacob will take it and make it visible in Israel. Elijah was such a man. Elijah was not a, a, a man. Elijah was a body carrying a spiritual system. A spiritual system of the prophetic because every time the move of God is about to come Elijah must precede Elijah is a system the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was in Noah not just the man Elijah when Jezebel the same way Jezebel is not just a woman Jezebel is an antichrist system and she seeks to carry out her rule by sitting in government every time Jezebel is in a place she's looking for men of power because this is how she operates and so Elijah the Tishbite shows up and when he shows up and judges the prophets of Baal listen very carefully Jezebel picks a fight with Elijah and Jezebel vows that she must remove the head of Elijah Elijah goes to heaven Jezebel dies we come back to the New Testament and we see Elijah coming back again in a strange man called John the Baptist we see Jezebel coming back again in a young lady called the daughter of Herodias the bodies disappear but the systems continue and just like Jezebel said the young lady danced before the king and he said what do you want and he said the head of John like I told him I will remove his head I'm still at it again please hear me human bodies may come and go but the system of God is a relay the mantles that come upon you will not start from you it's a continuation of a program the bodies that carry it may come and go but the agenda remains the same this is what God has brought us to do is someone ready to pray are there people that pray in this place please I'd like you to find someone and be serious tonight in the next two three minutes lift a cry to heaven father let something from heaven let the grace and the unction Matasko barikata come upon my life transform my life 